Good evening. Again, it's my favorite Dr. Zan's blog time. So today I would like to take the opportunity to talk about mitochondrial and mitochondrial DNAs and nuclear transfers and treat the patient with a genetic disease through in vitro fertilization. Now sounds like many many topics and many things I'm going to talk about but really only everything is surrounded about the mitochondrial DNA. So the reason I choose this topic is that today as of February 3rd 2016 the National Academies of Science had made a statement they are going to discuss about the techniques the clinical applications ethics about mitochondrial replacement therapy or techniques so first of all let me explain to you about what is mitochondria and what is mitochondria replacement techniques and why they are so important and what is the potential application in human fertility treatment. So mitochondria is a small cell machinery in the cell surround in the cell plasma. It is a practically a powerhouse to provide the energy to the cells. As we know, we work, we listen to music, Everything we do need energy through ATP and mitochondria is a cell machinery who produce energies. And uh, if due to many reasons there is a kind of mistake made in the mitochondria then you don't produce enough of energy, a person can develop mitochondrial DNA related disease. They may have a trouble to breathe, they have trouble to eat and they have trouble to walk and usually it's a fatal disease and currently there is no cure there is no treatment for this kind of disease and also during natural aging we are also losing mitochondria our cells start to cleave slowly function slowly that's how is a part of the process of aging now what this to do with the reproduction Many studies also show, and it's uh, one of very hot topics in our field, is that when the lady getting old, when the ladies say, cannot make a baby, one of the contributing factors is that the mitochondrial in the lady's cytoplasma are not enough to make energy to create good, functional, healthy embryos to create healthy life births. So this is all about mitochondria. So mitochondrial replacement technique is that using two techniques to try to replace the bad mitochondria with a good fresh mitochondria from another egg. Usually in this case is the donor eggs. So now let's explain a little bit the technique. Before I explain the technique, I just want to let you know what exactly is cytoplasm and what is the nuclear very simple any cells are made of two parts nuclear and the cytoplasm so very simple we probably all had experience experience eat chicken eggs so chicken eggs made of two parts egg white and egg yolk so egg white is proteins which where cytoplasma stay and that's where the mitochondria stay and they produce energy while the egg yolk, which has all the DNA material to determine whether this egg will turn out to be a chicken, that egg will turn out to become a duck. So that's all determined by the nuclear, and which has the DNA called nuclear DNA. The mitochondria has their own DNA called mitochondrial DNA, which is much small numbers, and it's a single, it's a single string, and very easy to go wrong, and in turn, not to produce enough energy. So the new technique mitochondrial replacement technique 
practically want to swamp the egg white while well, keep egg yolk. Why keep egg yolk so important? Because that's your own genetic material. If you want to make a baby, that's what you want to create your own offsprings, your own children. But with the increase of age, the egg white starts to go wrong. That's why you can use the egg white from a donor egg. In this case, you can have your own baby, but with the donor egg whites, but your own genetic materials. Come back to the very beginning I mentioned that when the patient has genetic disease due to abnormality in the mitochondria, which can develop a fetal disease, they can also, through this technique, to produce a baby with a healthy mitochondria. And so this is the application of mitochondria replacement technique. Now there are two techniques, one called cytoplasma transfer. Basically, you bring some fresh egg white from one egg and put them into another egg, which egg white is completely go wrong. And this is called cytoplasma transfer, and this technique is out of date because it cannot be efficiently to repair the egg white, the cytoplasma. Then another technique, which is the future, hold the trend, the promising, is basically to swamp the egg white environment. So basically, you're gonna take the nuclear, the egg white out, and the transfer to another complete healthy egg, which egg yolk already being removed. And this is actually called a nuclear transfer technique. And in 1996, I was the first pioneer in the world performed this nuclear transfer technique, which eventually can make this egg yolk, the nuclear transfer swamp, possible in human. If you are interested, you can Google my name. There are many publications will show up if you are interested to read. So today, the National Academy has holding the meeting and uh, there is a public hearing about this technique and the ethical aspect. I believe it's on March 11th. So any potential patient who are 42 years or older and planning to make a baby with your own ex, but more important for now, if you have any kind of genetic disease, you want to check whether you benefit from this technique through the mitochondrial replacement therapy, you may want to check, see if you want to be on the public hearing. And I believe it's in uh, Washington, D.C., but you can check it online. Our professional society the American Society for Reproductive Medicine, so-called ASRM, just released a statement today that uh, they uh, applaud this kind of debate and they are in positive position to support this kind of technique development. As long as a team have the know-how how to do it with proper equipment and there is a team to follow up the offspring and of course more importantly, favorably to produce a male baby. So if you have more questions and you are interested in this subject, and please check in. In one or two weeks, I will have more blog coming to continue explaining this technique. For now, I just want to let you know this technique and get familiar with this subject. And I hope you had a good time. Bye.